Welcome to the month of June. Thirty days all about gin. Shining a spotlight on craft made Canadian. Fun facts and proper tastings. Live cocktails Friday afternoons. Discover fourteen different brands and be influenced by me. Some for all. That's right, I'm a song for all. Hello everyone, and welcome to this 30th and final day of June 2021, my 30-day salute to gin during the month of June. Kind of hard to believe it's already over. Wow, the time sure did go by fast. It was indeed a very jam-packed 30 days of gin this year, as I focused on Canada's thriving craft gin distilling scene with product showcases, tastings, food pairing ideas, gin facts, interviews, and even live cocktail making. Now, as I started to prepare for June a few months ago, and with the pandemic and its effects on small business still raging on, I knew I had to do something a little different this year. And so I chose to focus on what's being made up here in the Great White North to shine a spotlight on craft-made Canadian gin. Truthfully, when I reached out to many of our craft distillers across the country, I honestly had no idea what to expect. I mean, would anyone even be interested? I gotta tell you, I was ecstatic to have 14 brands from three different provinces enthusiastically wanting to join in. And then as their products started arriving and I started tasting them, I became very, very excited. Now, I just want to be clear again. I am not affiliated with any of the brands I've showcased, at least not yet, nor did I want, expect, ask for, or accept any type of compensation for having a gin participate in June. Right, I created June three years ago, both out of my expertise on the product, I am a sommelier with W set designations, as well as for my love of gin. I wanted to create a fun and informative 30 day platform whereby I could share facts, tasting notes, as well as dispel any myths or preconceived notions out there that there is about gin. Gin itself has changed very much over the last 10 years, and something that someone tasted 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, all of that is no longer true of what can be and what is being made today, globally. Canada absolutely has a thriving gin scene. Well over 100 plus distillers across the country, with many of them garnering global attention and international awards. This year I wanted to help our dedicated Canadian craft gin distillers by spreading the word on what they're doing, how innovative, creative and rule breaking many of them are, and why we need to embrace and celebrate them for this. When I started tasting the gins that were rolling in for June, I was absolutely wowed by the diversity of styles and approaches that were participating this year. And I cannot believe how fortunate I was that all participants were eager and happy to answer any and all questions I had and to even chat with me directly. If you've seen my video showcases, you know just how lucky I was to be able to share the stories behind 14 seriously top-notch products. There's no duds here, folks. They're all different, fun, and extremely tasty. Now, if you missed out on any videos, you can easily find them on my Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel. Just search for Psalm for All, S-O-M-M, -M, number four, A-L-L, -L, and you'll be all set. More so than ever, it is important to support, buy, and drink local, right? It's not just a marketing slogan anymore. And our Canadian craft distillers not only need our support, folks, they absolutely deserve it. We 100% have outstanding gins across the spectrum that can easily stand on their own against any gin being made worldwide, hands down. And I was very fortunate again to have a sampling of a lot of them. I sincerely want to thank all the distillers who participated in June and helped me tell their story and share the aromas and flavors of their products. Christian, Jessica, Cooper, Cassidy, Josh, Robert, Laura, JP, Valérie, Christophe, and Maxime, merci infiniment pour votre temps, patience, et participation. Thank you all for your time, insights, and kindness. I also want to thank all of you who've tuned into my videos, provided feedback, and also shared my posts. 
Please note I absolutely appreciate you spending time with me. And a little extra thank you to all my new followers and subscribers. I also want to encourage you all again to bypass those big brand international bottles of gins on store shelves and to instead put some high quality craft distilled Canadiana gin in your glass. And make no mistake about it folks, there is absolutely a gin for all Canadians. With fun and exciting styles from Swish and from Dixon's to high value low price options like what's stuck over to out of the box approaches from Peprel, Ginabel, Trait Carré, Unruly Gin and Les Subversifs over to more savory types like the one from Black's and through to traditional style leaning gins like Ampersand and Spring Meal here on the end. These are brands from coast to coast and that no matter what the taste we individually have we can easily all enjoy a local made in Canada craft gin. Now for those of you who are not able to find or purchase Canadian made gin where you live, well first off that's unfortunate you certainly are missing out but you can still support local where you are. Check out what craft gins are being made near you and give them a try. The US, Ireland, Asia, Europe, they all have bustling craft gin scenes and I am certain that those distillers would enjoy your support. So folks, we're coming to the end of June 2021. I had an absolutely wonderful time and I hope you did too. Keep in touch. I'd love to know what craft gins you try and what your thoughts are. I'm also always sharing my thoughts and notes on wine, beer, spirits and sake on social media. So be sure that we are indeed connected on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Like and subscribe so you can stay all up to date with what I'm doing. I already have some thoughts about what June 2022 will have in store. I have to keep spreading the good word. Life is simply too short for anyone to be drinking boring gin. So that's all for this month of June, my 30 days all about gin, where I shone a spotlight on craft made Canadian. There were fun facts and proper tastings and live cocktails Friday afternoons. We discovered 14 different brands. I hope you were ginfluenced by me, some for all. That's right, I am a psalm for all. Until next time, please stay safe, be well, and cheers from Psalm for All.